In my last devotional in the series New Beginnings, I alluded to the fact that the first week of September will mark new adventures and new beginnings for many. Whether your children or your grandchildren will be attending grade one for the very first time, or you are starting your studies at college or university, you will be experiencing a new beginning. Or perhaps after many months of working from home, you will be returning to the office. How well you adjust to these changes will depend on your mindset. Are you pining for the status quo, hoping things will remain the same? What does the idea of a new beginning excite you? In this devotional today, I am looking at embracing change. Experiencing change or new beginnings can cause upheaval, stress, anxiety, and fear. Therefore, it is only natural to resist it. When we are faced with new challenges and new opportunities, we instinctively want to head back to proverbial Egypt, where at least the leeks and onions were something we could count on. But change is not just part of life, change is inevitable. So we need to move forward, putting our trust and our hope in the unchanging one. As the Apostle Paul encourages us today from Philippians 3, 13 and 14, he says, Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it, but one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. So how do you make good, healthy transitions and new beginnings? Well, you let go of what was and embrace the new. If you recognize that God is in the change, don't resist it. Respond by embracing the opportunity. In order to embrace something, you need to release whatever else is in your hand. I love the way Corey Ten Boom says this. Hold everything in your hands lightly, otherwise it hurts when God pries your fingers open. So let go of what was and embrace that which God is calling you to because our God is a God of new beginnings. Moses experienced several beginnings in his life. He was snatched from the river Nile as a baby in a basket to become prince of Egypt, then later becoming a fugitive in the Sinai desert where he was a shepherd to sheep. He was quite contented to be a shepherd, so when God called him from the burning bush to go back to Egypt to shepherd his people and to set them free from Egyptian bondage. That was the last thing he wanted to do. Making a new start is never easy. But what God said to Moses when Moses asked the question, who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and bring the children of Israel out of Egypt, is the same answer God gives us today. I will be with you. This is how the Apostle Paul encourages us today from Philippians 1 verse 6. He says, be confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Jesus Christ. So may the Lord bless you as you go. Amen.